So in the UK recently it's been unseasonably warm for a September and that got me thinking warm weather training. Now what actually is warm weather training and why is it beneficial? I'm Adam McCarthy of SSA Athletics and today's video is literally about warm weather training and whether you should do warm weather training. What is warm weather training? To put it simply it is training in warm weather. Yes, well done Adam, give yourself a slap on the back. But it's slightly more complicated than that. There's slightly more science behind what actually is doing a set of warm weather training to just training normally in warm weather. Warm weather training is a set period of training outside your normal training that is often harder and intense done in weather that is warmer than you would normally do. And we're talking about in the mid 20s to 30s here. Look on the screen to see Fahrenheit if you are American. There are tons of benefits to do warm weather training. It's nice being in the shade here rather than the sun. What warm weather training does, put it simply, it allows you to train harder. Why is that? Well, put it simply, it allows for the easier blood flow around the body and also allows for your muscles to relax. It allows for you to recover quicker meaning you can then potentially train twice a day. Now it doesn't necessarily mean you can train more intensely because depending on the distance and depending on the event, intensity is gonna mean different things. For a sprinter, it may do. For someone who's a long distance runner, training more intensely means you probably will die. Do you mean volume or do you mean how fast the run is or how hard the training session is? That's gonna be different depending on individuals, their training level, but also on other factors. You also generally perform better in hotter weather, depending on the event. If you're a sprinter, mid 20s to high 20s. If you're a middle distance runner, I, the ideal temperature really is around about probably 13, 15, 16, 17 degrees Celsius. Marathon or long distance runners, you're looking around about nine to 10 degrees Celsius. So hot weathers may not necessarily be the best weather for you to perform at your best. Now we mustn't confuse warm weather training with altitude training. Yes, altitude training can be done at warm, in, during warm weather. However, sometimes it is not. Altitude training will get its own video on a later date. Now, who should do warm weather training? For instance, you're gonna get people in Australia, nah, you already live in a warm climate, it's probably not necessarily for you. People in the Northern Hemisphere, Western Europe, yes, you're gonna need to do some warm weather training possibly. Now, do you actually need to do it to get good performances? No, however, it will definitely increase your chances of getting super quick times, providing that you remain fit and healthy during it. Maybe one way to look at the block of warm weather training is look at it as a pre-competitive phase of training. In other words, you're preparing yourself for competition that summer. Now, the time of year, athletes will often do their warm weather training is normally around about April. So just enough time to get into the summer season, but at the same time, not too late that it affects tr competition. Now, most people will do their competitions when they are at home. However, to maximize their chances, some of the more elite guys will end up doing some comp fast competitions while they are warm weather training. It's up to you. Some people find that quite disrupted to their warm weather training, while others, and they need that block to train, while others will utilize that as an opportunity and do not find it as disruptive. But generally you want to do it in the spring at some time, just before the season starts, but at, so you can maximize that training potential, but not too late that it affects negatively, makes you more tired when it does come the season. Now it's not, uncommon or unheard of should I say to have warm weather training done in its let's say in the winter time I've known race walkers to do that particularly they go, they go after Kenya or somewhere like that to do altitude at warm weather in, in December but likewise for most of us warm weather training is often done in the springtime Common mistakes people make when they're warm weather training is, is training too hard and too intense. Now, if you train too hard and too intense without you even being prepared for it, chances are you're gonna get broken down and injured pretty damn quickly. The other one is that they don't train hard enough. And therefore, 
what's the point going on warm weather training if you're not going to utilize the benefit of quicker recovery and the use of the hot weather thank you to all the people from gold coast city gold coast australia and around the world who watch our videos it means a lot to us if you like what we do click on this video here and as always guys i will see you in the next one bye